35 years, the owners have been showing these and white. In comparison to the fox terriers that we've just seen, just look at the bone and substance here. This is a really tough, small dog. And that's the head of the Irish Terrier. This is Kells Firestorm. Uh, pet name is Malone. He's a two and a half year old dog. Mr. G. Morris was the breed judge today. The owner is Kelly Walmsler. Comes from Stuttgart in Germany. But there are uh, foreign visitors here, overseas visitors to the show. They're having quite a success bringing dogs into the uh, into this group. Glorious headshot there. And coming after the Glen of Imar, this is a bit like going from the tank to the Ferrari. <laughs> This is a most beautiful bitch, very striking, the Kerry Blue Terrier. Chelsea is the uh, pet name, Phil Davis is the owner, comes from Swansea in Wales, of course. Uh, Phil is in the ring there, the breeder, that's uh, Sonia Lang. Now this one was runner-up Top Dog All Breeze for 2010, Top Kerry Blue for 2010, a real show pedigree going on here. Of course when they're pups, this glorious coat is much darker. I was going around the rings today looking at the, the puppy classes, they're almost completely black. And then this glorious silver matures through the coat, turning them blue as it's described, the Kerry Blue Terrier. And on the table now, the Lakeland Terrier. This one, Raffingham Magic Storm. Elsie, she's only 15 months old. She was bred by John and Karen Mason. <coughs> her own home. They come from Aylesbury and Bucks. And delightfully, she won her first CC today. What a place to do it. Proud moment for the owners, absolutely. Just 15 months old. And it's very smart. Still lots of maturing to do, but all the characteristics of the breed there. That lovely head. Next on the table we see a terrier that doesn't quite fit the normal template that one expects from a terrier. This is the Manchester Terrier, champion Callisto Ruby Tuesday. Ruby is the pet name, this is a bitch, three and a half years old. Stuart Morris from Huddersfield is the owner. And uh, this is Banbury, of course, who was the breed judge to then put this one forward. Brenda Banbury, of course, enormously experienced in terms of group judging as well as judging all these breeds. This might look more delicate, but in actual fact, this was a great warehouseman's dog, a pub, an in ratter. Tremendously quick, fast, and agile. So this is the Norfolk Terrier. Of the two little red people we're about to see, the Norfolk Terrier has the folded ears. Norfolk with an F in the name, with the folded ears. This one, Satrenda Saucy Socks. She's a two-year-old bitch, judged by Jeff Corrish today, owned by Linda and Terry Cooper, who also bred her. And this was her fourth CC today, so she's already a champion. And this one just adds an extra notch to the belt. That coat is hard and wiry, comes in a variety of colors. And what we see now is a true low driving motion, so it should be nice and parallel. And this is the Norwich Terrier. Now, while she said the F in Norfolk for folded ears, I was thinking Norwich is Norwich Cathedral with the lovely spire for those prick ears. <laughs> Very nice. This is Rogus uh, Jazz King. Toffee is the pet name. Only 18 months old, this dog. Owned by Mrs. Leslie Crawley uh, from Ghoul, uh, which is near Hull. The handler in the ring is Matthew Oddy. And uh, well, they've been showing dogs for over 50 years. They must know nothing about these. Oh, absolutely. Leslie Corley's Ragus Kennel has been producing generation upon generation of these delightful little terriers of the highest possible quality. On the table now, the Parson Russell Terrier. This one, Hullmark Johnny Ringo, who has a junior warrant at just 22 months old. Ringo was bred by Mark and Margot Hooley, and uh, they also still own him. He decided to retain this one because he was of such super quality. Four CCs now. Well, Ringo also competes in agility, loves running after a ball, likes to steal things, especially socks as he marks. Uh, lovely temperament, always ready for action, as these dogs always are. Uh, this is Haya Melscott, Haya for short, three years old bitch, owned by Dr. Joseph Slavich Melscott. They come from Croatia, uh, Zagreb in fact, handled in the ring by Andy Lucci, and the breeder was the owner, Dr. Joseph Scalich. And of course, a, CC, sorry, of course a Scotty that came all the way from Russia last year took reserve best in show, this one from Croatia. 
but originally the breed hailed from the highlands of Scotland. You can see there that sturdy, low-set body, the delightful head of the Sealyham Terrier. This one, champion Davmar, duty-free, seven and a half years old, but in sparkling form standing there on the table in the group ring is Jack, bred by David Winsley, who also owns him, ju judged today by Alan Longmate. Six CC for Stone's had. Two club best insurers as well. Like most carriers, is a great digger, and this one likes digging up the owner's paddock. This is a very balanced, active, free moving terrier, alert, fearless. That long, hard, wiry top coat with a res weather resistant undercoat means that they can really work anywhere out of doors. Well, this is the Sky Terrier, very distinctive with those great big ears, which have such a lot of fur on them. This is Champion Selena Black.